Identify linear and nonlinear functions. Okay, so what's a linear function? A linear function looks like y equals mx plus b. But you could change these letters around. You could say O equals M times N plus B, where maybe N is number of days and O is how much oatmeal you've eaten or something like that. Um, so it doesn't really matter that it's Y or X. It just has to be this form. And the graph of a linear function is a line, right, where this is your B and your slope is your rise over your run, which is always the same. They're in proportion. So here we just have to be careful and pick all the nonlinear. So that's got a cubed, that's no good. That's got a fourth, that's no good. Everything else looks like O equals MN plus B, or just Y equals MX plus B, right? So these are the nonlinear ones. Nonlinear ones. Okay. Select all linear functions. Well, that's got a fourth. That's got a fifth. This actually is linear because it's y equals mx plus zero. And that's linear to y equals mx plus negative two or whatever. So these two are linear. Select all nonlinear functions. Okay, well, that's got a fifth, that's got a squared. Everything else just has, you know, powers of one or no powers at all, right? You, you don't see them, right? So you can tell they're linear. It's another way of seeing it. If you have two letters in your equation and they're added together or, and there are no powers, that's probably going to be a linear function. Select all linear functions. Okay, so here we go. That one's linear. That one's linear. These have these cubes here. Those are no good. So the first and the third are linear functions. Okay, select all linear functions. Well, y equals mx plus b. This one's linear, y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b. So these are linear. This one's got that fourth in there. That would be y equals mx to the fourth plus one. That's a quartic function. You'll see graphs of that at some point. So select all linear, that's linear, that's linear, that's linear. Okay, these are fun because all you have to do is see that they're not lines, right? All these graphs are not lines, so they're all nonlinear. Nonlinear, nonlinear, nonlinear. Okay, select all linear functions. Well, that's the only line. That'll be y equals mx plus b. If we wanted to figure out the equation for that, right, we would know how to do it. y equals m, right, what's the slope? The rise is negative 2, and the run is, looks like 7, right? So it would be negative 2 over 7, x, and what's your intercept? Plus 6, right? So that would be uh, a, the equation of that linear function. But it's not even asking that, it's just saying select the linear ones. And that's the only one that is linear. The other ones don't look like lines. Okay, select all nonlinear functions. All right, well, this is nonlinear, that's nonlinear, and that's nonlinear. They're not lines, so let's select them. Select all nonlinear. Nonlinear, nonlinear, nonlinear. Okay, uh, select all nonlinear functions. Well, none of these look like lines to me. That's a square, the middle one's a square root function. The left one's a fourth power function. So these are all nonlinear. You'll learn what they actually are at some point, but. All you need to know now is that they're not y equals mx plus b.
Just making sure I'm reading the question right. Cool. And select all nonlinear functions. Well, that's not a line and that's not a line. So that is a line, which makes, makes it linear. So these are the nonlinear functions, right? See, the word line is in linear. Okay, guys, hopefully that was a, a fun lesson. It's fun to connect the equations and the graphs. So yeah, maybe you can ask yourself, hey, if these aren't linear functions, what are their actual equations? And that's what you learn in algebra two. So I'll see you guys next time.